All right, guys. I'm going to show you a studio tour uh, for 2018. Some updated stuff I've done. But first of all, I want to show you my writing desk, my room where I do my studying and my writing, and uh, where the kitty, you know, does all her stuff over here. But I wanted you to see this awesome thing here. We got this at Walmart for like two dollars. It was 50% off or something. This is now my writing, what you might call tome, my writing prompt here. Whenever I'm in writing mode, that goes right in front of me wherever I'm at, whether it be the living room or whatever, to remind me it's time to write. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Here's my little lamp that I use all the time. Really love it. And uh, reminds me of the old days. Uh, got a few writing resources here. The writer's block, as you can see there. And the book that I was talking about on a previous update video on what I'm using to help me revise my novel, Blueprint Your Best Seller by Stuart Horwitz. And organize and revise any manuscript with the book Architecture Method. And just some more writer stuff over here, a bullet journal and some different things like that. Different uh, books that I have, or my song book that I've got. And over here, if I can bypass uh, the laundry, kind of show you what uh, my bookshelf looks like. So up here are all my journals and notebooks over the years. And those in planners, some of them are planners. So the latest one of which is uh, this one by a company called Moonster, Moonster I think it is, M-O-O-N-S-T-E-R. Love this notebook. I haven't really got to use it yet because um, I've decided to finish the one I'm currently working on before I start that one. Uh, this is the wife's notebooks and some new graduation stuff. This shelf is dedicated to business and uh, business related things. One of my favorite books of all time, The Power of Focus by uh, Jack Canfield, Vic Mark Victor Hansen, and Le Les Hewitt. A very awesome book. Down here on the right, all dedicated to writing. And there's Stewart's other two books. Um, book Architecture and Finish Your Book in Three Drafts. That's his latest one. Uh, one of my favorites, How to Write Killer Fiction by Carolyn Wheat. There's all kinds of good, good books here. And a lot of people recommend this one. Self-editing for fiction writers. Um, also, I have Stephen King's On Writing. A lot, a lot of good uh, books here. And then the bottom is mainly dedicated towards biblical and, you know, biblical study. Uh, there's some other reference resources like some dictionaries there we have and some other things. Oh, and on the left side is, is uh, marriage books, dating books, things like that, counseling books. Which, by the way, there's a huge Christian counseling book right there that I haven't really uh, read because it's so overwhelmingly huge. In the bottom is some more biblical resources, uh, some uh, kind of like encyclopedia commentaries of some of the Bibles. And that's, uh, let's see, what's the name of that one? Uh, Abigdon or something like that? Not exactly sure. And then some other biblical stuff down here on the bottom. So that is pretty much my bookshelf and different things and Kitty hiding out trying to, trying to, uh, get all you know in our business in our nose so studio tour 2018 as we walk inside let's start from the left i'm gonna lock kitty out so she won't disturb us of of course we have my chuck norris po poster love that thing it's in a lot of my videos lately because i do some streaming here is uh one of my favorite posters the national novel writing month november and it's kind of like an 8-bit poster they had it for like 10 bucks on sale and I had to get it. So it's kind of like a Donkey, Donkey Kong like based thing. Tells you whatever things are up here. The, the light bulbs are ideas. Caffeine level. Words per minute. 30 days is the time and your score is 50,000 words. And uh, I'm assuming that big thing there is uh, maybe your inner critic, your brain. I'm not exactly sure what what's what here. And you got some plot bunnies you're chasing. Things like that. So, um, one of the writing groups that I'm in, they had a book tour a few years ago. And uh, here is a, a, a canvas print that my sister uh, painted and gave to me. And some old modem stuff. There, there's my inbox trays, which I decided to move from my desk because it was getting my way, filling up some space. Some of my uh, music books, uh, a bunch of tablet old tablatures and old, old other music books and music resources. 
Um, down here is a case for my strat that I've been working with. Over here on this side, well, actually, let's continue around here. I've got my crate, uh, GFX amp. That thing's old as the hills, but it's got an awesome sound to it, especially the clean sound. That's really all it's good for. The overdrive is terrible, but it's got some good effects on there. Um, and that is to keep, mostly to keep the doors of the closet closed so that the kitty will not continuously get in there. That's such an aggravation. Over here, I've got my uh, tripod holder and an extra guitar stand. Bottom shelf is just some random CD stuff, you know, CD cases, and some port pad folio type things, and some CDs that I've had for years. We have obviously my Martin DCX1E here in the front, and behind that is my Fender Malibu guitar that I haven't played in years. It just basically sits here. I have detuned the strings to like drop D or drop C or whatever, so that uh, there won't be a lot of stress on there, but I can still get it out and play it whenever I want to in that nice tuning. Here's a bunch of old CD cases that I use, jewel cases and sleeves. Here is a bunch of fiction books, and, and yeah, I think it's mostly fiction, of books that I like, that I usually keep. Um, these two, not so much, but they are just happen to be there because I finished them, and I put them here to let me know that I finished them. And there is Smart Focus Book 1, hidden amongst those, as a little trophy for myself. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't have a lot of fiction stuff in there. It, a lot more of my books are in the living room, actually. Um, so, and then the top is usually where I keep guitar repair stuff, you know, random stuff. And then the, the top up here, uh, I got this for two, 2017, probably need to get rid of that. I didn't think about that, but that was for when the Gilbert family and I recorded our album, uh, back last year in March. Um, up here is a bunch of my old CDs, Eric Clapton, Paul Gilbert, Joe Satriani, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Steve Vai, Bunch of other, you know, kind of random things. Uh, Yanni, Kenny G, Michael Bolton. Uh, I've got some other things up here. Journey, um, Johnny Lang. And then some, just some, these are mostly like sermons and um, Christian type CD type things. And it's just some random business CDs here and another CD case full of stuff. Magic 8 Ball, just because I like the way it looks. Uh, my mom actually created this. This was a, I think it was for my birthday. She had a bunch of candies and stuff, so I had to keep that. That was awesome. Down here, a bunch of old tax records, tax forms. Right here in smack dab in the middle of all of it. Well, besides this, check this out. This is a guitar stand my sister and uh, brother-in-law made for me for Christmas 2017. They got it off Pinterest, I think, the template. And uh, it's rather amazing. It's got some felt here. And on the bottom so that your guitar is always protected and so since i just got done restringing this this uh, guitar as you've seen probably in one of my previous videos i decided to bring it in here and have it ready for when i do some lessons um what i was about to say is smack dab in the middle of all this i have converted a music stand into a standing desk yes believe it or not it works put your laptop on here you can have your mouse to the side and you got an awesome view out to the window so this is my standing desk when I'm working on my laptop when I'm writing. I can, it's portable. I can move it around the house. And I don't have to spend $4,000 for a desk that raises and goes up and down. So there's your good uh, idea. So there's my tripod for the Targus uh, case that was over there. This is some random, you know, um, electronic gear for music equipment. Uh, microphones, adapters, chargers, um, another camera. Some old headphones that uh, I really had to retire because the stuff was flaking off and we ended up using pantyhose cover things for to keep the ear stuff from rubbing off on us. Um, shove capo, I just got that for my Martin not long ago. A, a, another clock to keep me, that I can always look at if I need to, just for fun. This is what I used a lot for writing, uh, just some ideas for YouTube videos and, and different things like that. Down here's a crate, nothing's really in it right now but I keep it in case I need to put anything. And there is my box of all my guitar mementos and string cases, um, all kinds of other stuff. I actually need to get this picture out and hang it up, but yeah, a bunch of string cases, snark tuner stuff, other random stuff I picked up at conventions and festivals and different things like that. I collect string cases if you haven't noticed. And then uh, here is, actually I actually need to take this out of the wall. This is for batteries from my mouse. I need to put that over here. 
So we have the corner where I have been doing YouTube lessons and, and course lessons for a long time, but I haven't been over there in over a year. <laughs> I've done everything at my computer because the webcam is so much easier and I can have multi-angle shots with OBS software and I just haven't even been over there in a long time. But that is where I would create course courses like uh, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials and things like that. And I used to do YouTube videos over there. One day I'll get back there, but right now other things are on my plate. So here's my wall of guitars, uh, two of which are over here to my right. You'll see those in a minute. There's my original uh, Strat. It's a 2001 MIM standard Strat. Uh, Midnight Blue is the color. You can't see that now because it's got a axe wrap of my course, Texas Blues Guitar, on it. And I did a video on that years ago. You can probably find that on my YouTube channel. Here's my Squire Bass. Uh, my wife got for me back in Christmas of 2016. I haven't really used it much um, because I've just been doing guitar things. And I usually keep some um, chords on, on the hangers. I've got to move quick because I've only got like 11 minutes left on this card. So, another stack of random CDs as I need them over here. SRV poster, guitar posters, wall of accomplishments, and, you know, um, different things like that. And then Martin Strings, uh, all kinds of other stuff. My Circle of Fifths clock, that is really handy. I don't use it as much as I probably would like to, but it's at least there to help me tell time. But over here I have... One of the pieces of new gear was the uh, floor mat here you see. This is, I got this on Amazon. And a lot of this stuff you can get on Amazon. If you'll get, if you'll go to ericbatycom slash shop, you'll be able to, uh, that'll take you straight to Amazon. That's an affiliate link, which provides me with a small commission out of each, each thing that you, you buy. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it's a good way to support what I do here on YouTube and other places. And uh, so the new, uh, here's the, uh, other two guitars that I have, the Ibanez RG4 EX1 and the uh, Affinity Strat, Squire Affinity Strat. Love this thing. My PV Viper VIP 1. Really good amp. I love PV uh, tones. This is just a, a random piano bench that I, I ended up kind of stealing and using for my own purposes. Got another mic stand there in case I need to use it for streaming. And another a big uh, uh, CFL daylight bulbs and one clamped to the top of my monitor. I've actually got another one over here that I was using for when I videotaped here. And uh, there's the other lamp down there for a backlight. Here we have my current setup. I've got brand new speakers. That's what you see in the box on the floor. The CR3 Creative Reference Multimedia Monitors from Mackie. Um, and I've got those over here. And here, I'm finding them to be a little bit more bassy than I anticipated. And I'm thinking that's maybe because they're so close to the wall. But what I'm doing is I'm using this in combination with the little speakers you see here to help me um, work on, uh, to help balance the tones a little bit. And i got my little slimer over here. And that's my other monitor. And I had to raise these up because when I sit down, uh, these aren't at ear level. You want these at ear level. So I had to use the styrofoam it came with, cut it in half, and there was enough for two, so I raised those up with that. This is some uh, uh, blank DVR uh, DVDs so that I can start backing up my stuff because recently my uh, Western Digital, um, my book uh, died on me, and I'm having it in the shop right now. Hopefully we can get some data off that, but I've got me a dock here now. I went ahead and got me a dock for hard drives so that I can start using hard drives, naked hard drives, and just, you know, backing up like crazy from now on uh there's my usb hub that that is the hub for all of my cords pretty much what's not attached to the back of the mac mini you see here there's uh my passport i use that as an external time machine backup for the mac mini you see below it there is a um cd uh cd and dvd writer and player that i got off amazon it was a best seller i don't remember what the model was but you can check it out once again ericbay.com shop some sugar-free coconut for my indulgences every now and then. Here's a random notepad with some, you know, music and things like that that I that I really need to do something with, but I leave it there to remind me, hey, do something with it and play it and all this. Some tax documents I got back. Here's my one of my stash areas. Uh, Chocolate-covered espresso beans, Jelly Belly jelly beans, Altoids, pen holder, phone, uh, some stress balls. 
And there's my Smart Focus series, as you can see. Holy Bible, some Story Cubes by Rory Story Cubes, which I don't really use. They're pretty cool to have. And then just this is where I store all my uh, pen cases of, of old pens that, that when I get refills. Uh, some markers, highlighters, things like that. Uh, this is mainly for paper clips is what I mainly use it for. I also have some of those these kind of clips that you see right there, the pincher clips. This is a Tascam uh, PR10 that my wife bought me a couple years ago that I haven't really used since. And some random paper clips. I keep this just in case, you never know. Um, then I have some USB cords and some other connectors for the computer. Um, some extra um, card adapters and different things like that. Uh, different other adapters. Um, what is this? Utility knife for opening packages. And the bottom is mainly for all my rechargeable batteries and for actual pins that work. Which I uh, forgot I had that one. You know, this is one of my favorite pins is the Pilot V5RT. Retractable. I love Pilot pins. They're really great. Then a stack of books that I like to have handy whenever I need them. Mostly business related and writing related. So you can check those out on Amazon as well. Just got that one not long ago at Barnes & Noble. Really good book. And some manuals that I use, like printer manuals, manuals for my pedal board and pedals on it. And this is the printer where we decided to move it and I keep renews it's in here for air freshening. By the way, the pedal board is down here. I just recently done it. Um, I've got the pedal board as a new piece of gear and then the looper pedal there, the white pedal on the left, is the newest piece of gear that I have. So, and then before that I got the uh, Zoom MS 50G multi stomp pedal, that gray one there. Really good pedal, awesome tones, and I hooked all that up to the Digitech. Actually, it's going from this little um, surge protector to the wall to the Digitech, all the way to the uh, tube screamer, and from uh, right to left out to the um, Behringer uh, Euphoria UMC 204 HD audio interface. Quickly wrapping up here, I have my wall of guitar fame, some of my favorite guitar players and guitar effects people and things like that. Uh, concerts I attended, G3 up here where all three people signed it. Yngwie Malmsteen, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai. Uh, this is a poster from when I bought the DVD. I didn't attend it in Tokyo, but I bought the DVD for that one. I had Steve Vai sign this one. Me and my brother at a concert, G3. This was the G3 concert with Yngwie. Same concert. Uh, one of my favorite posters of Joe Satriani in his tour bus, just jamming out, just having a good time. Other posters signed by Steve Vai, and I've got more posters down here under all my pit collection here um, that I haven't had signed, but I, it's mostly of Steve Vai that I haven't hung up yet. And there's all my picks. I've done this before in a different collection. I've got a little flute recorder here. Uh, I keep incense for when the, the, uh, the room is, is really stuffy and the Renews it's not doing it. Incense will take care of that. I like, I prefer wildberry incense and i've got a big sample pack here i have 20 different incense or something like that that was a really good i prefer wildberry you can find those on amazon my outbox of things to put somewhere else and then some random stuff i haven't really organized i've organized the top two shelves but i've still yet to get around to the bottom two shelves and you can see why <laughs> you put things off that look like that that's mainly for uh, electronic stuff i've got a voltmeter and for uh, RCA cables, and there's an extra USB stick, and mostly computer electronic stuff, adapters, things like that. And in the bottom, I've got um, just some more music things. I've got an extra CD case, DVD case, and a bunch of extension cords for when I need them. And my Thompson Chain retired reference Bible uh, for when I really want to get deep into the Word. And just a, a uh, side, um, what is that? Uh, side uh, whiteboard for when I want to write down ideas and then I've also got my my LED lights for awesome coolness love those those are good for videos and things like that and for just setting the scene when I want to watch a movie or, or ride or whatever there's my keyboard been using Jazz 3 XL picks the stiffos from Dunlop that's what I've decided to stick with on my electric guitars and then as far as drawers, trash can, nice and neatly out of the way. A bunch of candy and different things like that. Twizzlers, one of my favorite candies. Some nuts and different candy stashes. And then over here, it's mainly um, tools.
for you know Allen wrenches and different things like that. There's one of my uh, lapel mics. This is for the actual new headphones that I got to help me with mixing. Forgot to go over that. That's the bag for that with the cords and stuff in it. I use an old sock to wipe down my guitar strings when I'm done playing. Um, then back there's just some random stuff and I keep my Kleenexes up here. And then in the bottom it's mostly once again computer related and office related stuff. I've got batteries, old batteries, business cards, labels, a three hole punch, stapler, another small whiteboard, and some old backups of discs that I've had forever. So. That's pretty much all my time. This thing's got one minute left on the memory card. So thank you guys so much for watching. And that would be my office tour for 2018.